Well, we got a couple more blind boxes, and this time, I know to cut the plastic off before I try opening them. So anyone who's watched my channel for a while knows that I've always liked Five Nights, even if I've not ever had like a dedicated theme night to it, but it was always something that I would come back to and review a few figures from every now and again. Now that the movie's coming out, I kind of got a, a bug, a collector bug in me, if you know what I mean. So, of course, I'm doing all the big, like, every version of a character I own videos, but I've also had an itch to go out and actually buy Five Nights stuff, which, unfortunately, most of the action figures I already own, and the plushies don't really show up in my area all that often, so that kind of leaves me to just these, the blind boxes. I did some security breach blind boxes last week, but these are the most current wave of mystery minis from Funko. It's based on the circus or balloon world, whatever this is called. Um, and you can see it's all the designs that we're getting more familiar with, I guess, through like action figures and the plushies. We don't know what these are yet. These might be Funko designs, but they might be in a game or a movie that we're just not aware of yet. Um, overall, I've not been huge on them, but I do think these mystery minis look decent, actually. And looking at the back, there's not any that look just outright awful aside from, you know, Piss, what is that? Piss Balloon Chica down there. Um, but yeah, I just got the three boxes. We're going to open them up quickly, see what we might get, and it's all more or less just so I have an excuse to keep buying Five Nights stuff. Well, I want to, because hey, it's kind of rare for me to be excited by a movie. So, looking on the back here, right? You can see we're getting the main uh, four, so you have like their circus, am uh, circus animatronics. I guess it's circus suits, maybe? The Balloon Boy suits, we have like this Panda Freddy, which actually looks really cute, a glow-in-the-dark Bonnie, which looks cute, Golden Freddy, which, that's not the character, Golden Freddy, I'm just realizing what I'm saying, but a Freddy that is golden, Piss Chica. Out of these, looking at them, right, I think the ones I would like the most are the Bonnies, Balloon Boy, Foxy, or any of the three Freddies. I think those are the ones that, that strike me the best. So let's open this up here. So I found this out last time, the fact that there's the plastic overlay, but then also a plastic bag inside the box. I've already taken the plastic overlay off all these boxes, so now we just have to worry about getting them out of the poly bag on the inside. And who do we have? Ah, all right. So right off the bat, that is, I guess we can call it Circus Ringleader Freddy. Um, the design is cute. I do like it. My problem with a lot of these designs is that they you can't tell they're FNAF. The only ones who I would not say that's the case for are the Balloon Boys, because, you know, they look like Balloon Boy. And then also, this does still look like Freddy, and it mostly just comes down to the hat. He's still pretty generic. He looks a lot like that one Disney bear. I'm pretty sure his name was Bongo, the one on the unicycle. But overall, I think it's pretty cute. I enjoy that well enough. We'll head on to our next box now. Doop. That box opened a whole lot easier for some reason. Oop. And... Ah! Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> well, that's Balloon Foxy. Um, I like this pose where they have, like, the hand in their pocket. Look, they... they I don't want to say it. They have I want you eyes. Look at that. Look at this fucking sultry eye. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sassy foxy bad bitch foxy oh that's good that that's that's wonderful actually that's made my day he's more sassy than he is on the box <laughs> okay I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, I'm probably gonna regret getting these, but these first two, like, I like the Freddy, the Foxy is just the best thing I've ever seen. So let's see what we have in the third box. Oop. And it's, uh, oh, good, I thought we had a dupe. Uh, it's sad Foxy, sad clown Foxy. Yeah, like I said in my action figure review of this guy, this is like the living embodiment of erectile dysfunction. At least he doesn't have the flat balloon anymore, but like, look at these. Remember, Foxy's supposed to be the cool one. I like Balloon Boy Foxy, that's still capturing Fo Foxy's energy, but this... Look at that poor schlub. 
I'll be honest with you guys, I was kind of prepared to hate on these. Like, I didn't like the plushies, the action figures I thought were just fine. But the mystery minis are actually really nice. I like these a lot. Um, this is not the series I would have wanted. I really was trying to track down those specially delivery blind boxes, and I ultimately just ordered a bunch of them offline, so when I get them, I'll make a review of them. But I was thinking I bought three and I'd regret it, but now I'm kind of wishing I bought more. At the same time, I kind of knew that Foxy would probably be my favorite one. All I really want now would be the Bonnies, and I don't know if it'd be better to just eBay the Bonnies or to try to go through more blind boxes. Um, if I see them again, I might pick up a few more, but it's not anything I'm going to track down. Still, though, if you just want some decent Five Nights stuff, I think these work. At the same time, they just don't really feel Five Nights to me. The Balloon Boy does, more so than the Freddy or the Foxy. My problem with these, though, is that they just kind of feel generic. They feel like Hanna-Barbera cartoon animals, which I get it. That's like a, a parody they did for, like, uh, Security Breach and Help Wanted. But you, you just don't see the visual identity. At least Balloon Boy Foxy, the Balloon Boy, is a connection here. So, with all that said, like... Maybe just wait until they, like, remake those plushies from, like, Wave 1 and get, like, the core animatronics from Hot Topic. There's good action figures out, maybe get those. I don't know how I feel about these circus animatronics yet, and I guess I won't know until we actually see whatever they're supposed to be. But for what they are right now, which is kind of vague, generic designs, I think they're fine. I like them. I just wish I actually knew what they were in the context of Five Nights, you know?